now I'm ready to start over to create a test with Renrex Studio. And here we have a very major change here with uh, Renrex um, 8.0. So we have uh, changed here the um, mode how you can create tests with Renrex. So to create a test here on a mobile device, I click on this record button and for desktop web and recording on the desktop machine, we have here recording available. And for mobile devices, the recording is not possible anymore. Therefore, we created such an interactive mode to create here a test cases. And this I will use now. How it looks like, so I will use a tool called Renrex Pi to track elements in the, or select the respective UI element I would like to um, use here in my um, test scenario. And then I will simply drag and drop it, this element directly to my object repository or to my action table here. And then I can create here touches, validations, uh, or type in here some text. Okay, I'm ready to go. The wizard finally brings me to this dialog. This is my Nexus 9 device. And here I can select the application under test, Dropbox, and click here on create. And to show you what's going on here on the device, I have this camera available and you already see here, uh, let's move Rano XPy is already shown here on the right side. Uh, on the left side, I will move here Rano Studio, disable the endpoints anymore. So that's the view here now for creating here a test. And here I see my application under test. So let's move it a little bit to the bottom that you see the the, the full uh, device here. So this is the view which is currently from my camera here. And in Renrex Pi, I can also add here this view to my Renrex Pi tool. So this Pi tool shows me here the similar view which is shown here on this camera. In addition to that, I can also navigate with my mouse over these elements here. I see here the search element. And I can also select here probably this uh, frame here for let's do a refresh here and this folder is empty and this will be my first step in my test scenario here I, I would like to check whether the Dropbox is empty when I'm starting up with my test scenario here so therefore I can simply as already shown uh, navigate to this element here the red border shows it click on it and the respective UI element is selected by Renrex. So now I have to create an action here, and this is now possible through drag and drop. So I simply drag this element to my actions table here and say, let's create a checkpoint or somehow a validation called in Renrex. I would like to validate here that, let's resize that again, that the attribute the text, for example, of this element is called this folder is empty. Great. That's what I want to do here as first step. Okay. I can also uh, update here a screenshot. If I need one, I see, for example, this screenshot of the whole Dropbox application here for this element and the folder is empty, the screenshot for this element. And such a screenshot I would like to also have then later on in my report. And I can also do something like this. Therefore, I simply drag and drop this element up here to this actions table and say, capture here a screenshot of this element. And that's it so far. And that's the first point I would like to um, show you now how you can simply run such a scenario here. You have simply created, simply run such a scenario. Therefore, you only have to click here and run, and Renrix will start up the application, validate that the folder is empty, and report here a screenshot here. So in order to run such a scenario, I simply click here on run, and I bring this um, view on the screen that you see what's going on on my device here. So Renrix is starting up the application and now it's searching for this folder is empty and then it creates also a screenshot here and as you can see here we have already created a very simple scenario so far 
to simply validate that the Dropbox is empty here for our initial part. Okay, this is our simple report format here. And now I'm able going back to render XPy and adding here additional steps to my scenario here. Okay, I click here on refresh. Let's see from our scenario, I would like to create here a new file. So I select this plus item here. This is the button I would like to click. Um, and I simply drag and drop this to my actions table, say, okay, let's touch this element. Okay. Um, and now the point comes up um, how you can directly execute this um, on your device. So you can either select here uh, this action here and run the selected item, or you can also do that on your device here manually to say, okay, that's the scenario I've created here. And then I'm able to move on here, creating additional steps here. Okay, I'm going back here and now I can select which action I would like to perform here. I would like to create you a new text file. I click on this element, drag and drop it. So that's very straightforward. In that way, you can create your scenario. If you do not have access to your device here physically, you can also select such an element here in Ranrex Pi in this picture view here and select here, touch or tap this element. Then you will see this action is executed on the device as well. So if your device is not connect, uh, physically available on your screen. So let's move on, adding some further steps here like this here. Let's, like, let's type in here now a text to my um, element here to this view. How I can do that here, I simply drag and drop the element and I'm not using here mobile key press. I'm using here directly setting the value to this UI element here and say, okay, this is my text. Run the selected item to see what's going on here on the mobile device. And before I continue here, okay, for some reason, this didn't work as expected. Okay, let's go back to my recording here. Uh, okay, text value should generally work. Okay, I can also do it here in a remote control and type in the text here. In this advanced tab at the very bottom that this item it is, is my text. And now it should be available on the device as well. So that's how it works. Then save the file. Again, straightforward, save the file. And now I have to again select here this dialog and enter here into this edit field, set value. So you have also, should it's recommended to touch to the element before, to this text field here at this point, touch to this element. Great, set the value, um, this should here, ranrex.txt. Again, I'm doing this remotely here. And what I'm seeing here, everything is performed here in this way. Click on this button, okay. The file is created here on my mobile device. And now let's shortly go back here, navigate up. to my home screen. Again, I will add now here some further steps. I would like to validate if this file exists again. Track it, validate the file. This element attribute equals the text equals runrex.txt for validations creating here a screenshot. 
capture screenshot. And in that way, you can create your scenario here. Now, I would like to delete this file again. You can also select pictures here, so no big deal. Touch this element here. And select the element from the drop down part here, which coming up. Okay, let's delete this file here. Especially for some pop ups here, uh, it's sometimes necessary to also, um, if it comes up very fast and it has some effects on it, um, we really recommend here to sometimes add here, for example, delays. So that's here as a sample. For example, one and a half seconds, if such a delay, um, view comes in, sometimes it's necessary to add the delays if it's not working. So it's only for demonstration purposes. And now I would like to delete the element. Okay. Touch this element. And finally, I would like to confirm this. And I'm at the end of my scenario. Delete button. Touch. And I'm at the end of my scenario. I will close my application here, selecting this root element and use here close application. Okay. Now let's see whether my scenario works or not. I click here and run again to see here my full scenario. Okay, delete this file. Okay, and let's move on and see whether it works. So the Dropbox is empty. Now we have validated that. Now we add here a new file, new text file. This is my text. Save it under Renrex txt. Go back. Validate that the file exists. Delete the file. Delete. That's it so far. Basically, that's very straightforward. So uh, you select the UI elements and bring it into the, the scenario here you would like to have. The main important stuff are touches, set value, and validations. You can also add here a swipe if you would like to swipe from top to bottom and bottom to top. So that's very straightforward.